and we are at the train station again. Samarkand train station going to Bukhara and this time trying out the fast train. Let's go. So this is where you come and get your snack for the ride. I got myself samsa. It's a um, Uzbek pastry with the meat. You can get also with potatoes. I guess also with some other veggies. But I took the one with the meat. And now let's sit down somewhere, eat samsa, wait for the train, which arrives in 10-15 minutes, and go to Bukhara. From this beautiful train station. Let me show you some sun. Some sun. It's kind of similar to um, Belash. Another pastry you can get in these countries, but it's um, like fluffy, and uh, I prefer this much more. There's one thing that I find funny about Uzbekistan is that um, on the menu you often have this choice like meat or chicken or veggies, like meat, and with meat they usually meet beef, and um, chicken is not meat, chicken is something separate not meat enough i saw also a restaurant car and now we have three minutes to board the train find the right one right car uh, yeah number seven So this is what the modern fast train looks like. And right behind us is the restaurant. Want to see the restaurant car? Maybe with the coffee. I have arrived to Bukhara. First, let me show you what $11 a night get you in Bukhara. This nice big room. $11 a night right now. And this is the toilet. There are even steps you can climb. If, for whatever reason, you want to climb steps maybe to work out i think i'll be working out here okay i'll finish my workout and then we'll head out for a walk in bukhara it's almost five right now and same like in samarkand at first we'll go and see the normal areas regular areas where people are living and then we'll go to the beautiful sites, beautiful mosques, beautiful madrasas, beautiful 
everything and if it turns out that there is like too much to see and too much to show you then i'll split it into two videos but uh, now let's go and see let's see bukhara let's see the back streets of bukhara i'm staying approximately 2.53 kilometers from the most popular most beautiful sites and places from the historical part of Bukhara from the center of historical part of Bukhara because the historical part itself it starts like very very soon oh, it's about 5 p.m. and it's plus 35 degrees at the very end of August Yeah, first, first, regular streets, regular areas, simple life. Здравствуйте, hello. Хорошо. От Рига, Латвия. Architecture monument. Abdullah Kuchur Mosque could be this one maybe this wooden structure it's a little bit tricky here uh, you don't see all these streets on the map No, this is not a street. Diamond of Bukhara, five star hotel, being built here next to the old town, next to this mosque, Bukhara Shahar, or former mosque because I don't see a mosque. Okay, I think we'll turn around because the center of the old town is there. No, let's go a little bit further away from the city center because there, in between this residential area, must be a religious school somewhere. Somewhere near this pharmacy, Apteca. Somewhere near this grocery. Yeah, if you don't speak, if you don't read Russian, it can be tricky to understand that there is a grocery in that uh, house. I think I see it. Whoa, nice. I didn't expect this. I just saw some some place near my guest house. Look. This is what you find in just a residential area. In a regular residential area. Just imagine for a moment, you are working out here on this workout in this workout area and next to this historical place this historical religious school madrasa let's see if we can find the way inside i think we'll find because i saw a few people wow just wow look at these tiles Thank you. 
תודה, תודה. תודה, תודה. The entrance was 5,000 somi, so around 50 cents. And from here you can see the very center with that high tower, high minaret. This is the very center of the old town. Yeah, now it's almost September and it's plus 35 degrees in the afternoon. Uh, in summer it can get like 50, 55 degrees, so extremely hot. But during the winter, during the winter it actually gets cold, very cold, minus 10, minus 15, sometimes with snow. It's hard to imagine that now. And then, then, and we are in the old town. It was only like two, three minute walk away. I'm not on the main street. The main street is more busy. There are shops, cafes, like in many other touristy cities, touristy towns around the world. This is just the other street. leading into the old town. You see this a lot that people are kind of watering the streets because it's uh, hot, dusty, and this is how you make it less dusty. And we are only like two, three minutes walk away from the some of the most beautiful places in Bukhara. What's here? Yeah, so these are the ordinary streets of the old town in Bukhara. Tourist information center. Some impressive building ahead of us. So that was the old town of Bukhara and here starts the new Bukhara. Yes, I have made up my mind. Today will be the ordinary sites, ordinary places, and tomorrow will be beautiful sites in a separate video. A separate video. Let's go back into the old part. Not the most beautiful part of the old town, but not everything is beautiful. Let's see where this leads. We are still in the old town. Still super close to all the most beautiful sites. Beautiful mosque. I guess it's a mosque because this I think is minaret from where the call to prayer is being Played. 
I actually don't know how they do it in Uzbekistan, but um, in many other places around the world, uh, it isn't anymore like um, one person's job to go up the minaret and uh, sing this call to prayer, but it's just being played on a music player. Yeah, so back in the days it was one person's job to climb the minaret and actually sing the call to prayer. You maybe heard it now, but it was not so loud, so maybe you didn't. And that means it's the time of the prayer. Oh no. Have to go back. Another interesting thing for me. Uh, it's interesting for me to see that they use, mm -hmm. I don't know what do you call them, like these kind of pipes that are for rain water they use these pipes as chimneys and it's interesting for me to see them is because uh, back in the 90s in Latvia people also were using these kind of pipes as chimneys because uh, heating was really bad the central heating of uh, apartments and so people were installing their own stoves and using these kind of pipes as chimneys Yeah, and in Uzbekistan they still use them, they still do as we were doing in the 90s, up to maybe 2000s. Yeah, in Uzbekistan they still do as we were doing in the past, and on this I think we can finish the first video here, the first video on the first impressions on uh, Bukhara if you are more into the beautiful things beautiful places beautiful mosques bazaars then definitely check out the next video but that's it for today that's it for the first video on Bukhara see you soon